Hi. 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 We are back. Yes, we are. Hi, I am Erin. Hi, I'm Marley. Okay. What are we gonna talk? What are we gonna talk about today, Marley? Um, <laughs> you put the nugget in the middle. We <laughs> are going to talk about the 2016 Biggie Award nomination. That's one of the few topics. I just happened to have the list. Oh, wow. She's magical, y'all. It's like I knew we were going to do this or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's start with our thoughts. It didn't print the way I wanted it to. Not right, well. Well, it's all good. Okay, whatever. We'll get through them all anyway. Yeah. Okay, Best Ethnic Performer of the Year. Okay. Mm-hmm. We have Ashley Hart, Busty Cookie. Oh my God, I love her. Chevy Cobain. I don't know her. Cotton Candy. Love her. Carla Lane. Love her. Marley Triple X. Love her. Pink Candy. Love her. Sinful Celeste. Love her. And Victoria's Secret. Love her. But don't God, I haven't seen her do anything lately. Yeah. The award. The awards process is a little strange, in my opinion. Just because don't really necessarily know what they're judged on or what they're based off of. And um, I'm not saying that none of these people or women that are nominated for this particular ceremony uh, doesn't Hold on. Go ahead. Hold that thought. Diva's trying to get out. <coughs> or someone's trying to get out. Or someone's trying to get in. Or it's Sunny. I bet it's Sunny. Hey. It's Sunny. Put your shit off. Tiny Satan. The cash off. Um, but yeah, I just don't know what they judge us off of. But these must have been well. Fans had to. Their fan nominated award. Um, I believe the whole awards are based on fan fan vote. I think so. So it's actually kind of cool in that aspect, but um, it's just really interesting because we know like one of our really good producer friends. Slimy, like, none of his stuff got nominated, and he shot with everyone, and it's not even, um, like, once again, I don't believe that it's necessarily a who deserves what, but I just, the fans didn't vote for any of that stuff, <laughs> like, that's kind of, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Okay, so, anyway, so, my vote for ethnic is Carla and, and Celeste. Oh, and Busty. I, I love her. Of course. Mine is definitely Busty. Uh, I will have to throw Carla in there. And then also go with Marley Triple X because Marley is... Marley's killed it this year. Like, Marley... I've watched Marley for a while, personally, and I'm really good friends with a really good friend of hers, Juice and Jasmine. And um, Marley's awesome. Like, the girl's dedicated. And I feel like... Any one of those women on that list, maybe particularly Carla, Busty, and Marley. Those are my books. BBW DVD series? I don't know. That's all know. That's all <laughs> Jeff and Rodney. Yeah. And so, you know, may the best cock win. Um, media outlet of the year? I don't even, I don't even know. Oh, wait. BBW Insider Talk. He's on there. Really good friend of mine. Thank you. Um. I, I vote for him. <laughs> he gets my vote. Cam Girl of the Year. Now, this one's going to be hard because I don't watch them cam. But I personally think that Cherry Bardot is absolutely amazing. And that's who I would vote for. Not that I don't think you get to vote on these. Um, I honestly, out of that list, just because I don't really know anyone. Just, oh, Erica. Erica's on that list. Fuck yeah, I vote for Erica Ecstasy. Absolutely. Erica's the shit. I love Erica That's a, That's an OG cam girl right there. Yeah. 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 She's, she's, she's cam girl. When I started stuff. camming, that was who I talked to. Erica And I Ecstasy. still sucked to <laughs> I love Erica. Just wasn't meant to be. Okay, BBW DVD of the year. Again, I'm not going to know any of this shit. Fetish Performer of the Year. Did it go like this? Why, this did not print well at all. It broke it. it should've, you should have did front to back. So I guess it's Donnie Violin, Dirty Little Diva, Eliza Allure, Core Goddess, Princess Dolly, 
supersized BBW, Kiyomi, and Sydney Screams. The only one I know out of this list is Sydney Screams. Sydney. <laughs> I love her. Sydney's she's, awesome. She's hard. She's a sweet. Okay. Oh, this one we can talk about. Director of the Year. We know most. Who's Mr. Leach? Mr. Leche. I don't Leche? know. Leche? Oh, I've never Leche. Met Leche. I don't even know who that is. Eden. Tony Touch. Who's he? I don't know. Oh, look, he's. He's a, he's touchy. <laughs> Tell me touch. He's a toucher. We got Chris, Chris Triple X on that list. So, okay, so we know... You know Josh. Well, I know Josh and Rodney. And Christian. And Christian. I don't know Aiden. I'd like to know you. But yeah. Aiden's cool. Uh, okay, so then... I have to, I gotta go with Josh. Josh's stuff is amazing. I never look so good as I do when he films it. I'm really kind of shocked that, um, I mean, for me, I've never worked with anybody but Christian, and, uh, I mean. Although, that would, it's not even Christian, it's Damien. It's, yeah, it's Damien Kane. <laughs> it's not Christian. It's like. Christian's not the director. It's his studio. Oh, that's a diva. That's a diva move, Christian. Okay, <laughs> studio of the year. I don't. Damien Kane for director. Seriously. Uh, yeah. Studio of the year. I don't work with any of these studios. J. Crew. Oh, no. I was like, J. Crew ain't in the studio? <laughs> okay, interracial. Oh, my God. I'm interracial perform. I didn't even know that one. Yeah. That's funny. Okay, so interracial <laughs> performer of the year. Jade, Juicy, Lila Lovely, Sensuous. Who's Sub Tina? Submissive Tina. Well, I know what Sub stands for. I just don't yeah. know who that is. I know Submissive Tina. Good job. Uh, Sweet Freak. Wow. And Tanya Sue. Tanya Sue. Ta- Tanya or Tania? Tanya Sue. Oh, okay. Well, you know more people than I do. I yeah, I'm not, I'm, very friendly. Friendly. I'm, <laughs> I'm not very chatty. I'm not very chatty. I feel like any of those. Well, Aaron Green, obviously, is the homie. But I mean, I know Tanya, and um, it's gonna be interesting to see. That'll be an interesting category. Yeah, because I don't know. None of them really stand out to me as. Besides yourself. <laughs> not even me. Yeah. Well, it's just funny because that's not. Her personal preference and then and she got nominated in an award. Got nominated. I like a white an nerdy. Award. She got nominated for an award. White <laughs> nerdy. For black guy. Um, okay, male performer of the year. Ah, oh, this will be a tough one. Okay, so Asante, and then Christian, and then Eric John, Jack Black, J Crew, Juan Largo, Rodney Moore, Tarzan Stone. Tony D and Tony Hook have worked with everybody on this list. <laughs> I've only worked with Eric John. Chris, oh, wait, I worked with Christian, J. Crew, and Eric John. Okay, so my, it would either be Juan Largo, Tony D, I think those are my top two. I go with J. Crew and Tony Hook. Yeah, you know, that's true, because I don't ever watch any of Tony's Oh, yeah, stuff. fuck, how did I forget? I'm like, I worked with Hook, Jay, oh, yeah, John and Chris. Well, I done, I've done more guys than I thought I did on that list. <laughs> she's, a, she's a bigger slut than I'm she remembers. slut than I recall. 2015 <laughs> was a bu- busy year for me. Okay, oh, newcomer of the year. I always love this category. Make sure we get all of them in here. Oh, no, see, look. Okay, so, Allison Galen, who I don't, I don't know who that is. Buffy Emma, I love her. Chevy Cobain, you must know who that is. I don't know who I don't know who oh. Chevy Cobain is. Jordan Lux, Lila Lovely, Ling Ling, Ruby Royal, Savannah Blue, I don't know who that is, and Kayla Mapp. Okay. <laughs> now, this is pretty amazing because Kayla came here and did, I think, two or three scenes, and that's all she's ever done. She posts nude pictures on Twitter, like, every day, and she got nominated. She was here in November. This is April. So that's pretty, yeah, it took me over a year to get nominated for anything. I'm pushing um, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. But we've talked about this before, and I think Ling Ling's going to Ling Ling! I think Ling Ling's going to I love me some it. Ling Ling. I'll be surprised if, uh, if she doesn't take We love that. a long time, Ling. Uh, Okay. 
What else? Triple X Performer of the Year. What is the difference between Crossover. Triple X? <laughs> I don't have anything to say about that. Um, do you? I don't watch any of it. The Triple X Crossover Performer of the Year. I don't know any of these people. I've heard of Alora Jensen. I think she's beautiful. I've heard of Odette. I've never personally spoken to any. Like, it's not even a personal thing. I just don't, I don't watch that stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I can't really judge it. I don't know. Although I love Tyra Scott. She's like a goddess in a sea of non-goddesses. That's as smart as I get today. <laughs> okay. Triple X. Triple X. What is the difference between Triple X performer and BBW performer of the year? I don't know. I think that they just wanted to give us a lot of categories. They wanted to give everybody a fair chance at giving an award so people can't complain and act like psychopaths at the ceremony. Not necessarily the smartest move from what I'm seeing. You guys can condense this a little. I mean, people just need to grow up. Yeah. Okay, so Anastasia Lux. I don't know her. Angel DeLuca. I don't know how Angel personally know of Angel. Beautiful girl. She's awesome. Bella Ben, Bunny De La Cruz, awesome. Eliza Allure. Me. Uh, Jade Rose, love her. Camilla Amor, I don't know her. I don't know who that is. Never heard of her. <laughs> um, Claudia Kelly is gorgeous. She's I, beautiful. Oh, yeah, she did work last year. She's pretty. Lila Lovely, Mandy Majestic, and Marilyn Mason. All good. It's a pretty good list of options. Mm -hmm. Very good list of nominees right there. Yeah. And then BBW of the year is Alexis Allure, April Flores, Becky Butterfly, Bunny De La Cruz, Eliza Allure, me, Carla Lane, Lexi Lex, Lila Lovely, and Sophia Rose. I will not be winning that one. <laughs> That's a hard list to talk about. Right. <laughs> so I think it's going to go to Sophia, Carla, Bunny, or April. Those are my... Look at Sunny in the background. My cat. He's been chasing flies all day. He's interesting fellow. Psycho. Interracial scene. Uh, <laughs> you love our swirls. <laughs> are we both nominated in this one? No. I didn't get nominated. But you're an interracial performer. Best interracial what? I thought Shane Diesel and didn't get nominated. Thanks, assholes. Last time I took that big ass cock, I did not fuck Shane Diesel. Yeah. I will. <laughs> but I will. So, fucker made me squirt everything. <laughs> well, that's like me and Jay and that one. Me and Jay crew work together almost every time I've ever shot. And. <laughs> We got nominated this year for Best Interracial Scene, but he's not listed in the nomination. Um, it's just Marlies Morgan, JeffSmalls.com. I was telling her, I'm like, well, I, I didn't fuck myself. Like, give the man some credit. Like, he's Big Daddy on your Male Performer of the Year list. But, um, yeah, I mean, I honestly feel like the scene, the award will go to... April and Isaiah. Um, I've not watched the scene, but it's April. It's April. Flores and <laughs> Isaiah Maxwell. So. Yeah, and Plus Size Pinups was a big release. Yeah. So lots of production money. Okay, MILF of the Year. CJ Woods. I don't know who that is. Lady Lynn. Woo woo. She won yeah. last year. Kimmy Kaboom. Woo woo. woo, -woo. Sensual Sammy. Suzy Q and Sweet Cheeks. Yeah, Woo -hoo -hoo. Mama Sweet Cheeks. Porn Mama. Sweetest lady uh, ever. Okay, so Lynn won last year. Kaboom is going to win other rewards. I say we give Sweet Cheeks this one. Yeah, last year. Because Sweet Cheeks, Sweet Cheeks is a fucking it. shit. She's a great. I person. love her. On, off film, she's okay. just a good person. Super Size BBW of the Year. I am so glad. I am not on this list uh -huh. because I would have been so mad. <laughs> have not, will never consider myself supersized. Not saying anything to those who do. I just, I, I'm okay with being fat, but being supersized, that my ego can't handle that. <clears throat> I'm just vain. Okay, so Ashley Hart, who, is she even, is she bigger than me? I don't think so. 
Uh, see, I'm, I'm like, I don't mean to sound like a, a I know Kayla Mounds is in. So Kayla Mounds is not an SSB. No, too. so why is she? <laughs> I don't get it. Honestly, the only true SSs on this list, to my knowledge, are Tiana, Applebaum, and Kelly K. I don't know of the other girls necessarily, um, but I know those three are, and they're gorgeous, and they wear it well. Mm. Tiana especially. I like Tiana a lot. But Applebaum, we share a birthday. It's my birthday. This <laughs> I'm glad she's doing well. Okay, so best butt. Angelina Castro. Oh, you, oh, I know her. She shoots for Jeff a lot. Is oh, she? she's so sweet. Um, Becky Butterfly. Delicious On Demand. A Lady Seductress. I don't know either of them. Maserati Monica. That too has my vote. That is a nice ass. It's a great ass. Wow. For sure. Um, Sunny Succubus. I, don't, I know the name Sweet Freak, but I can't put a face to a name. I'm hung out with Sweet Freak one. Uh, Tiffany Star. Victoria's Secret won it last year. She has a really great butt. Oh, that is a big bubble butt. But I would say, but <laughs> Mozzie gets my vote for Mozzie. Yeah, Mozzie has a great. Okay, so best belly is Alexis Allure. And she won last year. Yeah. Cherry Bardot, Destiny BBW, Ivy Davenport, Juicy Jasmine, Jessica Rabbit, Kendall Cade. Is that it? And Kitty Stryker. Uh, okay, so. I would have to go with Cherry and Bordeaux or Juicy. Juicy. Juicy has the cutest tummy. Yeah. I say Juicy Jasmine. Cherry Bardot is just cute all around. There's nothing on that girl that's not adorable. No. Best amateur scene of the year, apparently. No one. No one. <laughs> Best cam sight of the year. Who cares? We don't cam. Multi girl side of the year. BW Models. Models. Oh, Jess Models. Ooh. Divine Breath. Big Cuties. Jess Models is my home. Oh, Big Cuties. Yeah. No. Uh, best Boobs. I love this category. Again, Allison Gale. I don't know who that is. Cotton Candy. So those are some big old titties. Kimmy Kaboom. Won it last year. She's great. Titties. Lexi Lux. Big old. And Mandy Majestic. Of course. Big old titties. Maria Moore. I don't think I know who that is. Norma Sticks. Okay, so last year at BBWCon, I, I think you weren't there that day. This woman, Norma, took her boobs and engulfed a man's head in her, I like, cleavage. Norma. Like, she put his her boobs around his head, and he was just a torso. Awesome. It was insane. I've never seen anything like that in my life. It was so that bitch has my vote because she can make a man's head disappear. And she's fucking sweet. Like, yeah. last year she rolled up on me and just gave me the big, like, immediately just embraced me. I think if she movie. lived near us, I think she's East Coast. Yeah, she's East Coast. If she lived near us, she would be our porn stepmama. Yeah. Because we already have yeah. porn mama. We have our porn mama. She would be porn stepmama <laughs> because <laughs> she's that awesome. Yes. Like, that yeah. woman. She's so warm, cool. beautiful lady. <laughs> okay, fan favorite. This is another one. Um, I was kind of bitter I didn't get voted. It's okay. <sighs> Fan favorite. So, Bunny. Eliza Allure. Julia Sands. Carla Lane. Just really good. Carla's Very awesome good. Mar I don't know who Maria Moore is. Um, Mon Maserati. Monica. Um, Norma Stitz. I think does really good, too. She's on her awesome. Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Raina May. I know the name. Can't put a face to it, though. Dang it. I'm such an, ass such an asshole. Uh, Ruby Royal. I love Ruby. And Sophia Royal Rose. Ruby. So, really, to me, the fan favorite, to me, is the best interaction on social media. Yeah. And since I'm only on Twitter, because I don't have time in my life to do Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Kick, I, I don't have that kind of time. Um, I would have to go with... Carla or Norma? Carla is definitely... Carla is just phenomenal. Um, yeah, it would be Carla or Norma for me, too. Because Norma definitely puts some serious work into her, her, her fan interaction. Like, a deep admiration for that. But that's hard work, guys. Like, honestly, interacting with everyone on social media is... 
that's a job in and of itself. Like, aside from everything else you have to do, um, that's a job. <laughs> like, I have to say, social media, just being on Twitter. Now, I'm only on Twitter. I have to spend at least three hours a day. Oh, yeah. I'm not scrolling through trying to find stuff of my of my friends and stuff to retweet. Um, answering questions or replying to compliments or anything. I mean, it takes... This is hours out of my day. Right. Yeah. You might get a nugget. We invited the whole family today. Yeah. I don't know where Gigi ran off. She's right Oh, is she right there? You can see my dog's torso. Say hi, Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Sit there and don't die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, social media personality of the year. I personally was a little bit bitter and perturbed that this one did not get nominated because this chick posts the most random shit on her Twitter. It has me cracking up. I'm sitting five feet from her and she's like, I'm masturbating with sparklers in my clitoris. And like, you're brushing your hair. <laughs> Sometimes I'm serious, most of the time I'm not, and I like to post raunchy, ghetto, gangsta <clears throat> shit. Like, what I say last night? I wanted to be able to take my back teeth out of my head to give better blowjobs. That was funny. With like, double vaginal with a toothless BJ. <laughs> Shit's hilarious. I'm just saying. Danny, where are you going? Where are you going, you Megan? Get down? You can go hang out with the Here, tiny you Satan. Like Gigi? There. Oh. Make babies. They're both fit. Could happen. Um... Yes, we do. Oh, okay, like your balls down there. Okay, so social media personality of the year was Angelina Castro. Now, social media, I'm assuming, is people who have blogs. Bajillion followers. No, because... No. How did Rob Perez get social media anything of the year, dude? Uh, fuck that guy, and I will say that on YouTube. <laughs> I don't think it should go to somebody that's not... In the business. He's not in the business. He's not in the business. He's and a fucking critic. He hates all of us, low key. Like, why is he nominated yeah. in our award so the show? So, Rob <laughs> voted for himself. Yeah. And then his mama, <laughs> his mama. <laughs> voted for him. And those are the only two votes he got, and they had a spot to fill, so there you go. Really, here you go. So, you can give, take his spot and give it to me. I think that should be fair. <laughs> right. I think that would be fair. Okay. <laughs> So Angelina Castro, which she must have something off of Twitter because I don't ever see her on Twitter. If this is the same Angelina that comes here and shoots for Jeff. No, I, she's in Miami. This is a Oh, then it's a totally Castro. different one. Oh, then I don't follow her on Twitter, so I have no opinion. Uh, BBW Superstar Triple X. I've never heard of her. Or that person. Christian X. He just got one. X. I know. They got tired of all the X's. <laughs> Eliza Allura. Christian's been good on social media. He's, yeah, he's another really good one. But he has the blogs. Yeah. So I'm assuming that, because there's fan favorite Who's and then there's... Erica Icon? I have no idea. <laughs> I know Erica Ecstasy. Yeah, I know, yeah. But again, I'm not sure if this is just from... Kelly Shibari? Yes. <laughs> Love, Love you, Mama Love Panda. One. And Platinum. Platinum, of course. Um, so I love them. I, I guess I just don't understand what social media personality. I don't know what the criteria is. I, I don't understand it. I'm that. rubbing my tit right now. Um, whatever. <laughs> okay, get kicked off YouTube. <laughs> like my nipples itch. Um, anyways. Okay, so yeah, so I don't understand the criteria for that one. How does Rob Perez get nominated for a Benny Award? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. He's <clears throat> shit. Okay. <laughs> So, I don't have an opinion on that one because I don't understand the criteria. I'm just going to say that I love Kelly, I love Platinum, and I love Erica Ecstasy. <laughs> Erica Icon? If you're really out there on social media, I'm sorry, but I don't know you. Let's I've never heard introduce of yourself. Yeah. Solo site of the year. I don't really have an opinion on this because I don't. I don't watch it. I don't join. <laughs> um, but I know that. Kimmy Kaboom puts a lot of work. Kimmy does both. And, and Mozzie. Mozzie, too. Um, Poppy Tart, I just actually learned of Sydney yesterday. Sydney, too. Good luck. And Sydney. So Busty Cookie, too. Well, we have a few people yeah. on that one. So, 
while we don't know the site, we know yeah. the people. They work really hard to maintain it. So that's really the only opinion I can give on that. And opinions are like assholes. Everybody and, has one. And they usually stink. And they usually stink. So we are stinky whores. Okay, what else happened this week? Whores. Tell the people what else happened this week. Um, what else happened? Oh, oh my god, we went to the Santa Monica Pier. We did. Awesome. And I almost died. And I was too fat to ride the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna act like that was embarrassing. No, dude. Then, <laughs> what happened at the Getty, the Getty Villa? Okay. <laughs> so the Getty Villa, for those of you who don't know, houses ancient, and I'm talking <laughs> before Jesus was born, ancient artifacts. And a majority of them are behind glass because they are very fragile and no touchy-touchy. <laughs> Some of them are not. I'm assuming less fragile. Right. Probably still no touchy-touchy, but, you know. Yeah. You take that risk in your own hands when you leave shit out in the fucking open. Okay, so we're going through, and I'm sitting down, and there's this big sarcophagus thing four feet away from me, and as you can see, I vape. My vape has no nicotine, but this old man with a cane stands in front of me, and not even looking at me, because I'm off in La La Land, and this guy's just like shouting to the sarcophagus. Do you think that's safe around all of these artifacts? And I'm like, why did you just rip me from my daydreams of fucking Vin Diesel with your loud, obnoxious voice? And so he's like, can you, can you, he's like, are you smoking? And I'm like, I'm, it's vape. And he rolls his eyes like, what's the difference? Let me tell you what the difference is. Please. Big motherfucking difference. Okay. Educated. There's no deadly carcinogens in these things. There At least they haven't found any yet. Cigarettes were okay for many, many years until they figured out it's a no-no. They're bad. But whatever. Until then, I don't stink. So then, he goes and gets the guard. The museum guard for the evil cunt that has the audacity to vape in a museum. Yeah. But there are children running around with mu- measles drooling into their snot with their sticky <laughs> fudge stickle hands running around this fucking museum and, and, and it's totally okay. But me vaping? Holy no, no. shit! Call security. Call security immediately. Yeah. But we didn't get kicked out. No, we weren't asked to leave. Oh. Only because I bit my tongue off. <laughs> bit it, not bit it, bit I it really off. I really am glad that you bit your tongue so we did not get banned from the Getty Villa. <laughs> I'd like to go back there. I wanted to steal that man's cane and throw it <laughs> over the balcony into the courtyard on the next floor and watch him hobble. This one has slight anger management <laughs> issues. I just hate rude assholes. <laughs> it, that, nothing on this planet sets my teeth on edge more than rude people. I want to kick them all in the teeth. So we were at... <laughs> and then we left them into the Santa Monica <laughs> Pier, <laughs> where I can vape in peace. Yep. <laughs> we were the Ferris wheel over the ocean. It's really beautiful. That was fun. And you didn't puke on me, which I... No, I was... I don't like Ferris wheels. I don't like heights. I don't like roller coasters. I don't like eating a bash fit. So I've... The ocean helped. Because if there was no water there, I wouldn't have gotten on. Like, if I couldn't have been like, oh, water... Just like the water. What else? Oh, so last night we had a barbecue. <laughs> and in case anyone missed it on in Twitter, case anybody missed it on social media, I had we had a barbecue. It was just the two of us because that's usually how we roll. We don't really have many. We're a duo. We don't really have many friends. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Actually, kind of a not really. Uh, but yeah. So we had a barbecue, just the two of us. You know, I grilled some steaks, some chicken. Corn on the cob, we had uh, some twice baked potatoes. It's pretty good shit. So I get the brilliant idea to post a uh, titty picture while I'm grilling. She's like, no, here, let's take a full length naked body picture and post that shit. Shit's blown up so strongly, and I've been like trying to think of something to do to set me apart from the rest of these uh, young women in the adult entertainment, well, at least in my genre, in adult entertainment. 
So I am going to start a barbecue show. A butt naked barbecue shop. Oh my god. Marlise Morgan's butt naked barbecue. Yes, dude. So, roast your rump while looking at a rump. <laughs> exactly. So, like, I have some pretty serious, uh, actually, you're going to probably try to film that, like, next weekend. Because I can't really do it this weekend. Like, this can plan. weekend's over. This weekend's over. This weekend's over. But we can totally film it Say hello to El Diablo. I El Tiny Diablo. Satan. Diablo. I'm sorry if you didn't scratch me or bite me. Tiny Satan. My evil cat. But yeah, so we're going to do, um, or I'm going to do that. So it's going to be coming on my Clips for Sale store. Guys, I'm going to have my Clips for Sale, um, straight. And I promise. I'm like, we're both working. We're so hard. busy. Like, <laughs> I have so many other things going on outside of my porn career right now. And um, it's just hard to find the time. But I definitely appreciate um, everyone that follows me, everyone that acknowledges my work. Um, I'm going to do better by you guys. Just had some transition in my life. Like, I moved here from Colorado and it's just been, we're adjusting. But we're getting back on track and. There'll be some filth on clips for sale for you, too. Yeah, so we're filming clips, so if anybody has any ideas, hit, up, hit us up on Twitter. Our first video will probably be eating popsicles. <laughs> That's a good idea. Ooh, I love popsicles. I love popsicles. Yeah, so we'll be eating popsicles on clips for sale. Alright, anything else fun and exciting happened to us in the past week? The, oh, oh my, my god, the waiter at Coco's! The waiter at Coco's, <laughs> I was just about to say that. I haven't been to this Coco's in months. <laughs> okay, it's April. Last time you were here was October. Yeah. The waiters still remember that. Because <laughs> the three of us ate there, like, every day for a week. And it was her and me, and then Jade Rose was in town. And we ate there, like, every day. Yeah. Apparently, we left an impression. Yeah. So, we're, <laughs> like... Because I don't think I've eaten there since you guys left. Really? Yeah. Well, never so, we are so crazy. So, right now, we were... We basically were talking about... A real estate listing that we were going to think about making. <laughs> I'm not going to say who's real estate, any of that. But there's a real estate listing that needs to be made. They're just cracking up at, like, how we just able to flip, like, all this crazy shit into, like, a <laughs> natural <laughs> mineral pool in the backyard. We have a pothole the size of a VW bus <laughs> in our dirt driveway. This is not our house. No. We rent. We do not own yeah. this property. We don't even rent the house. We rent <laughs> a studio on the house, okay? Yeah. This... Stop it. Um, okay, so in the driveway, which I refuse to park on because it's going to eat my little car, is it, it's, it's got to be two feet deep <laughs> and five feet wide, okay? It's a hot tub. It's a hot tub. It's nature's hot tub. <laughs> Every time it rains, you can, like, take a mud bath in it. Well, it's yeah. ridiculous. We, we, we have overgrown. We have a tree that is three stories tall. <laughs> three stories tall palm trees. And when it lands, they go like this. <laughs> I have trees. This window behind me. I have trees that bang on my window in the wind. Why? Because our slumlord won't do anything about it. <laughs> you should see the back. What? What? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. When nobody else is home, her and I will take you on a tour of this lovely mansion. This is where Jeff's models. Jeff's models. This is it. This is For those of you who think we live the high life, this is where Jeff's models is filmed. It's in this condemned... What's wrong with my cat? Um, There's flies. This condemned <laughs> residence, for lack of a better term, because I don't know what else Dude. to call it. <laughs> for those of you who think we live the high life, for those of you who don't understand why we get pissed off when we when you don't pay for when your you porn, when you watch my shit on, on free time on free tube sites, uh, it's because we fucking live here. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, pay for your porn. Pay for your porn, please. We don't want potholes the size of of Mini Coopers. We're scared to let the animals in the backyard. We have a weed garden, not a garden, <laughs> not a lawn. We have a weed garden. <laughs> we will tape it. We will show you. <laughs> I swear. Tomorrow morning when we wake up, I'll run the camera. She's gonna be your hostess. She's gonna be Robin Leach. Okay, <laughs> the black Robin Leach. 
Lifestyles of the not so rich and or porn. <laughs> and porn <laughs> style. Okay. Yeah. So it's so funny because Anna Fox is here and Ziggy, <laughs> Ziggy Star. She's like, no, t- take Anna in the laundry room and show her the roof. <laughs> oh, yeah, the roof. Okay. So we have a utility room. So um, <laughs> this is the old garage. What you're looking at right now, this is where we live. <laughs> connected to the utility room where the washer and dryer are. And then that connects to the house. Okay, so so the utility room is completely enclosed by two doors. <laughs> For some reason, <clears throat> when the genius that lives in the house connected the dryer, it suddenly turned into a sauna. So every time you run the dryer, it gets all hot and steamy. I don't know why. <laughs> Three weeks ago? Three weeks ago, I hear this sitting in here, and I hear this loud bang. And we don't use the laundry room. We take our, mm-mm, yeah. my shit goes out. Yeah. Um, I hear this loud bang. I'm not kidding you. Four square feet of ceiling fell down. This is where I live, people. Why do you think I ask for money? <laughs> because this is where I live. Where I have a, Yusuf, <laughs> don't even get me started on the roof. Don't even get me started on the roof. <laughs> if you stand outside and there is a tiny bit of wind, the roof will fall on you. <laughs> you will get hit by roof shards. Trap now. This it's is bad. where we live. Please, I feel like I feel like the the, the UNICEF Children's Fund. Send these women your money. <laughs> we need to move. We need to move immediately. And I mean, we're 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 going to make money. We're both we both generate income, but um, we, we work to two full time jobs. Two, this is this to is live in this shit hole. And we're we're nominated for <laughs> hoes. Like, can we get some comfort? Uh, can I not be afraid to go outside <laughs> when it's windy outside? We have raccoons the size of bears because they get fed so well. Yeah. <laughs> we have ten outdoor cats from Psycho in the house collecting animals. <laughs> I'm afraid to let my dog have to go pee. She's going to come back in with rabies. <laughs> Then the names of the cats. Like, that's some pretty funny shit. That's not, well, that's just. That's a different video. Yeah, we'll talk about that next week. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. We're not bust. We're not making fun of that. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. The house is bad, though. Yeah. He, it's, he doesn't own it either. You know, we're yeah. all renters. It's just the, the slumlord. The guy that owns the house. I just want to hit him with my car. He gives no fucks. No fucks. Not, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I think, like, the nicest thing is the lemon tree. And... What else do we have? Oh, we have orange tree. I don't like those oranges, though. I've had They're weird oranges. <laughs> there's an orange tree. Yeah. And then there's the three-story tall palms. There's three of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to take you on a video of this. Pretty nice. You should see the front yard. Like. It's it's scary. It should be. It looks like a wildlife preserve. It's bad. It is bad. <laughs> I I haven't seen the roof in the in the utility room yet. I'm gonna have to check that. We'll take the camera. <laughs> Ziggy. We'll take the camera. Poor Ziggy's like you've not seen that. She just cracks up. <laughs> oh, and then this is the best part. Okay, so. Uh, this house was old. This house was built in the 50s. Obviously, nothing since the 50s has been done to this house. Because, um, so they have the drywall that was, you know, plastered and painted. And then underneath, there's, like, this old insulation that looks like, um, it's, uh, it's fabric, but it looks like popcorn, like styrofoam popcorn oh is the gosh. shape of it, right? Yeah. So, the person that lives in the house, who shall remain nameless in his geniusness, I noticed this yesterday or the day before when I was out in the storage room. Took the stuffing out of the ceiling, put it in a trash can, and threw it in our storage room. Why is he saving the dirt? Why are we saving dirt? That's all I have to Maybe say. Maybe it's good for... That's all I have to say. It's not good for anything! Lead paint. Oh, oh, and we have lead paint. I scraped all the lead paint out of here. I probably have cancer now. <laughs> the lead... He probably did that because the insulation and the paint probably is. The paint! I should have taken a picture. The paint was holding the ceiling up. 
I'm not kidding you. The paint was holding up the ceiling for a good day before it finally crashed. Because the paint is so thick. It's got ten motherfucking layers. And I don't know what kind of paint looks like. There's no paint left. I can't show you what it looks like. But that paint is so thick. It's like linen. It's like wallpaper. This is where we live, people. Yeah, so please. I, I make clips for sale. You guys buy clips if you love me. Please. <laughs> Yeah, you laugh a lot though. Like you had to. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm not fixing that shit. I already fixed the bathroom. I'm done. Like you have to have a sense of humor. Uh, like I came from Denver, where I, I mean, my shit was pretty straight back there, but I wasn't straight. So I loved your condo. I loved my condo too. It was actually. I didn't like the hike up. No. Well, three stories for a fat girl and a mile up of a uh, freaking. I moved altitude. in that condo and I was on a serious weight loss fitness kick. I was like, oh, well, I can even get a workout while I'm not working out because I can take three flights of stairs to get to that. And I learned to make that walk. Yeah, well, this fat bitch lives downstairs. <laughs> First like, floor. I like stairs. Stairs are awesome. But yeah, so I think we're done talking because I'm out of shit to say and I'm thirsty. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye! Oh, ow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked, I asked.